Hello, everybody. Welcome to Justin and Just Set. And today we are doing the No Mercy 27 pay per view prediction video bullshit thing. As always, we have with us simply Alicia down at the bottom. Right there, her camera's all wacky today, so she's just going to be on voice for us today. And don't forget, you know, her description and everything else down below. You got to check out her channel and everything else that we've been doing for that. That's right. Go subscribe. I butted in. Go subscribe to my channel. Thank you. <laughs> you Especially want more content? In. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Supposed to be butting in. Supposed to be talking anyway. <laughs> right. Okay. You know, I always do me. Do me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, first off, we have the kickoff show, which was announced yesterday. Oh, my. And we have Elias versus Apollo Crews. You know what? The pre-show is so bad that you have, when you just said we have Elias versus, it blanked out. I don't even know who he's versus. <laughs> Apollo Crews. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did see that, huh? <laughs> well, we all know, I think, that Elias is going to win. I, I'm only picking Elias on this one. Only because the real factor of they had they gave that whole Titus Worldwide a push so much and then they just never put him on TV anymore. If it wasn't for that, right, I would just put up, I I literally would have yeah. picked Apollo Cruz on this one if they actually kept up with the whole leaving him on TV. Right. I don't understand the like the Titus Worldwide thing, it was coming along good. Yeah, yeah, it was actually working with the fans. I mean, and then, you know, they let Tazawa get the title for a night, and then nothing ever again. They just straight up took everything off TV. It made no sense. Right, they were like, he lost, the whole brand loses. <laughs> you know, that's horrible. But I agree. Anyway. If the whole thing would have still been going on, I believe I would have picked Apollo Cruz. All right, that so... Okay, so now we have the actual start of the show, I guess. And the surprising of it all, the Cruiserweight title will actually be on natural show for once. We have Enzo versus Neville. <laughs> versus Neville. If they want to revive 205 Live, we'll put the belt on Enzo. But I do think that they won't give it to him now because they're going to like build up this feud and try to keep people watching. But... I understand why they made this match for once. Yeah, I don't understand why the hell they made this match. I, mean, I don't watch 205. Okay, well, let me help you watch 205. Um, basically, nothing, I mean, basically, you know, uh, Enzo's just been talking trash about nothing Neville. Nothing, nothing big has really happened. But I think that they're trying to push Enzo to the forefront because of the fact that no one really watches 205 Live. <laughs> like, no one watches that. I've never been a fan of the cruiserweight like type of ordeal. I want everybody to wrestle everybody. And but they're I think they they need Enzo because the the ratings are really low. Good on the mic. So if he has the championship. And he gets seen all the time, and he gets to talk trash all the time. I think it could help. That's the only reason I'm picking Enzo. I mean, okay, like, I'm picking Neville on this one. I mean, I don't know. I think Enzo's more of a joke when it comes to this. Like, I don't I don't know. I, I know they had to throw him over there for a reason, but uh, not right now. Maybe not this. Maybe, maybe like, next pay-per-view or some stupid shit like that, but no. I, I'm going with Neville. Right. Like, uh, no. I can feel you, but I want to be different. This is my my risky pick. You know, I think what they need to do, and this is strictly just my opinion, and you guys will hear it again because I am going to do a sports video this week. Ooh. Oh, my. Um, I include wrestling, but there are some issues going on in sports that need my attention. Um, actually, I'll probably do it. Well, wait. Subscribe. Anyway. I wish that they would let... Okay, so you know how the 205 or the cruiserweights supposed to be lightweight flyers. Uh, yeah. In order to boost up the cruiserweights, 
you know, why don't they let some of the smaller wrestlers like Finn Balor, who who they have a little, you know, wrestlers that have the following and the appeal to get the crowd into things, go down and fight some of them. Next, we're going to have the very first title match, which was, you know, thrown together. <laughs> we have The Miz versus Jason Jordan. So, well, we all know The Miz is going to win. I think we're both going to pick The Miz. I like The Miz. The Miz is a great person for me. So. I like The Miz, too. I can't help it. I was picking him no matter what, even if I knew he was going to lose. <laughs> My, okay, okay. I'll put that. I'm going to the only way I can see Jordan winning this match is if it's by DQ. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot title, about that. If they give him that title, I will be pissed, and I think a lot of other people will be too. And no one likes the whole father storyline. No. Nope. At all. And, you know, here, and then, and then they started doing it right. I'll give them that. They started building him up right, you know, letting him fight, seeing all that, and, you know, showing that he's good. But, you know, still losing, you know, because it makes sense. They start doing it right, you know, building them up, and they just run right in the title picture again for no reason. I know. They suck. The things that they're doing make no sense. I mean, honestly, honestly, okay. Okay, I can understand you guys won the whole six-pack thing, you know. And I said to you, let Matt Hardy win. Jack Hardy had a chance, let Matt win. You know, do the whole concept of, okay, one try, let the other one try. You don't really need to build up with them, too. It just, you know, it makes sense. Jordan, you know, they want to build up. That could have been the Survivor Series match right there. Something. Right. It made it great instead of just slopping the slop together and giving, yeah. feeding it to us for no mercy. I mean, they tried to build it up, and then they just stopped all together last time. And what did they do? They put it on a pre-show with the horses. It made no sense to anybody. Right. Two of your biggest draws get to perform while nobody's there. And while yeah. no one's watching the pre-show because, you know, everybody's always late. Even when I sign on, sometimes I have to go back to the beginning. But, you know, whatever. They're doing them dirty. So, now we're going to jump to the second title match. Which, yeah, I don't give a shit about it either. We have the five-way women's match with Sasha, Naya, Emma, Alexis, and now Bailey. Because of reasons. For no reason. Why can't we just throw Mickey James in there, you know? Have the whole role. Right. Well, we all know Alexa Bliss is going to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this even worth talking about? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll say this, though. I mean, I know online they kept saying here that Emma was supposed to take the fall. But, you know, they wanted to change that because they want, you know, Oksana or whatever to be the feud with her. So, I mean, are they still going to let Emma take the fall on this one? Or because they had Bailey? Is Bailey going to take the fall on this one? <laughs> Might as well dig her deeper in the I don't know. I mean, there's so many times they wanted to turn, you know, Sasha heel just for those two to have the feud, and yeah, they don't do it. Uh, I guess we uh, have to keep waiting. Oh, I'm going to say this now because I think it's the most hilarious thing. But for my picks that I've already decided, I it's been so long this has ever happened in a pay-per-view. This is why I'm making this as my picks of the concept. I literally am not picking any title changes at all. Me neither. I don't see it. You picked Enzo to win. I don't count that. I don't count that. (laughs) That was my dream pick. That was my dream pick. If I was going to be logical, I would say no. (laughs) Next match, we have the man. We have Finn versus Bray. Because, you know, before we had, you know, Bray versus Finn. Then we had the demon versus the god. Now we have the man versus the man. <laughs> <laughs> what was the difference between the first time and the last time? <laughs> um, Finn Balor. I'm going with Bray. Because, you, I mean, it's about time for Bray to get 
but you know I have that inner love for Finn Balor. For Finn Balor. <laughs> so, oh, I don't know. I like I like so, both of them. I like both of them. I have no ish. I have no issues whatsoever with either one of them. It just uh, British track record pay per views are terrible. But well, I think that they're not. I, well, I think that they're not. Right. No, they're not. They're well, not that's the only right at all. That's, that's the only reason I don't see him. That's the only reason I don't see him. If he wins, if he wins, who the hell he gonna be against next? We still have like another two, three months. Like another two, three months. Okay, if he loses, who the fuck is going to go against? This is you know, the third right. time they're fighting, right. so the few going to end anyways. So, I mean, try to drag it out. Try to drag it out. I don't know. I, 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 I have to go great. I kind of do on this one. Uh, I, it's just this whole big thing of, you know, the mat, the paint, is why in the hell he's any good and blah, 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 blah. I guess it's just more of him trying to prove a point. Kind of a thing. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. well good luck to him. Good luck to him. I just, either way, I mean, either way, over here, I can probably, uh, I'll be happy with either one winning. Me All too. Day, like a disqualification, I'm happy with either one winning. <laughs> I, I do, do like, like them like both. Or stars, or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm just going to take Ben. I always pick him. I always pick him. Yeah. Okay. So now we have Ambrose Rollins versus the Bar, Sheamus and Cesaro. This is a tough this one. This is a tough one. I don't think it is. I really don't. Those two have been going at it back and forth so much, and neither one. Like I'm sorry. Okay. I can. I'm waiting for this one to be the qualification. <laughs> If any match gets disqualified, it's going to be this one. Because the Good <laughs> Brothers are going to interfere. Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah, true. That's true. Good, brothers, good Brothers. I forgot about this. Yeah. But I, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to say, you know, Amherst and Rollins keep the t- are going to win this. So, but I'm still, I can still see goddamn Good Brothers interfering. <laughs> Interfering. Well, I'm gonna go well, with, I'm gonna uh, go with uh, my boys. My boys. With who? And Rowan. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. just like them. I just like them. Even if I, I probably would. I probably them because they would be a sport. You know, Shield 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay, now uh, okay, so, so since I know this ain't going to be the main event, even though I want it to be, it's not going to be we have Roman versus Cena yeah. Yeah. yeah, I hate both people I mean, don't get me wrong, I liked Roman whenever he was, you know, in the shield and the shield of the after when they all broke up it was good until they drug him down or race the road I was okay with until then. Right. Right. Um, I, um, I am a fan of both. Am a fan of both. But I would be lying. But I would be lying if I didn't say. If I didn't say that they're both getting on my. That nerves. they're both getting on my. Nerves. And for me to say that about Roman Reigns is huge. I I mean. To be, I don't know who's gonna win. I'm gonna just go and I'm gonna say John Cena. Are you? But I think it could be Roman Reigns because they. they want to well, I can't remember. Did she hear it? Say what? Did Cena win his last pay per view appearance? Yeah, he beat uh, Corbin. He beat who? Baron Corbin. That's right. Okay. Um. So he might. I. Ugh, but him take no. You know what? I may have to change because I said I picked John. 
Cena? Yeah, yeah. Or do I pick Roman Reigns? No, you at the moment you pick Cena. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go with Cena then. Still. Because I just don't see him taking an L to Roman Reigns. Like, you know, he's not one for putting a yeah. lot of people over. And after all the cut, I him winning is what is meant to happen. I mean, he fried Roman in those promos. You can't fry somebody in a promo and then lose. <laughs> what? Well, okay. I mean, I want to start going to go with Roman on this one. <laughs> I really did. Um, adding on state that Roman's going to win this because you know, Cena's that part-time leaving and they want to give Roman that big-ass push and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, my biggest thing of it is, Cena does not know how to lose. Like, wherever he's supposed to lose a big match that's supposed to help somebody else, he refuses to lose. Hence the whole shit with the next thing. When he was supposed to lose that damn match, no, 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 we're just not going to lose. Fuck everything up. (laughs) I'm winning. (laughs) And I hate Cena. Like, I I, I do not like Cena. But I want I I'm just gonna be different because I literally thought you were gonna pick Roman, so I could pick Cena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be different on you on this one, and that's why I'm gonna take Roman. And I, oh god, <laughs> I, I, I'm not looking. I'm not really looking forward to this match, but it's probably the better match of the night. Yeah, that and the tag team match will be good. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the very last match. We have the Universal title. We have Lesnar versus Strowman. With barely it was the same amount of build they did with Samoa Joe and Lesnar the month before. A whole lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one makes me my hypocrite on this thing. Um. Okay, okay. I, I, you know, I do believe, you know, title should be defended, you know. There's no reason for, you know, someone to be off camera and show you that enough title be defended. This might be the only time in the world I would literally say no fucking universal title match for this month. Let, you could have at least said it had been, like, the number one contender match kind of thing. Not just give Strowman the fucking thing. Then you could have, Survivor Series, where it would actually been a big pay-per-view, <laughs> you could have had them two go at it, which would have made sense. Right. Like, honestly, they are building this pay-per-view on pretty much Cena and then Legends match. That's it. Everybody too else is just going to follow the way. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's just too predictable. Um, they, I mean, there's just not enough. Like, if there was really a chance that woman was going to walk away with the title, I think shit would be booming. But we all know that there's no chance that's what you got. So, it sucks. It does. It really does. And I mean, I don't know. I guess it's because that whole stupid thing, they want to give Roman that title. But yeah, so that match is going to be boring. And, uh, well, I won't say, well, it's, it's too short to be boring. But it's going to be very predictable. So yeah, it's none gonna be- of us are going to get what we want. It's going to be less than 10 minutes long. Why the fuck is he only fighting for five-minute matches? Maybe he don't got a lot of wrestling moves to use. <laughs> he, he knows not too fuck people. <laughs> well, right, but do we really want to watch t- 20 minutes of suplexes? Well, we have to do any other time. <laughs> touche, touche. Ugh. I don't know. This just this know. whole pay per view is just a disappointment. I can tell in both of our voices that there is no excitement. No. <laughs> and that's what makes me really afraid for Hell in a Cell too. 